The Kripke Plotek axioms of set theory KP, pronounced, are a system of axiomatic set theory developed by Saul Kripke and Richard Plotek. KP is considerably weaker than Zermelo Frankel set theory, ZFC, and can be thought of as roughly the predicative part of ZFC. The consistency strength of KP with an axiom of infinity is given by the Bachmann Howard ordinal. Unlike ZFC, KP does not include the power set axiom, and KP includes only limited forms of the axiom of separation and axiom of replacement from ZFC. These restrictions on the axioms of KP lead to close connections between KP, generalized recursion theory, and the theory of admissible ordinals. The axioms of KP Axiom of extensionality – two sets are the same if and only if they have the same elements. Axiom of induction – phi a being a formula, if for all sets x the assumption that phi y holds for all elements y of x entails that phi x holds, then phi x holds for all sets x. Axiom of empty set – there exists a set with no members, called the empty set and denoted. Note the existence of a member in the universe of discourse, i.e., x, x equals x, is implied in certain formulations of first-order logic, in which case the axiom of empty set follows from the axiom of sigma zero separation, and is thus redundant. Axiom of pairing, if x, y are sets, then so is x, y, a set containing x and y as its only elements. Axiom of union, for any set X, there is a set Y such that the elements of Y are precisely the elements of the elements of X. Axiom of sigma zero separation, given any set and any sigma zero formula phi X, there is a subset of the original set containing precisely those elements X for which phi X holds. This is an axiom schema. Axiom of sigma zero collection, given any sigma zero formula phi x, y, if for every set x there exists a set y such that phi x, y holds, then for all sets u there exists a set v such that for every x in u there is a y in v such that phi x, y holds. Here, a sigma zero, or pi zero, or delta zero formula is one all of whose quantifiers are bounded. This means any quantification is the form u element of v display style for all u in v or u element of v display style exists u in v more generally we would say that a formula is sigma n plus 1 when it is obtained by adding existential quantifiers in front of a pi n formula and that it is pi n plus 1 when it is obtained by adding universal quantifiers in front of a sigma n formula this is related to the arithmetical hierarchy but in the context of set theory some but not all authors include an axiom of infinity in which case the empty set axiom is unnecessary, these axioms are weaker than ZFC as they exclude the axioms of power set, choice, and sometimes infinity. Also the axioms of separation and collection here are weaker than the corresponding axioms in ZFC because the formulas phi used in these are limited to bounded quantifiers only. The axiom of induction in KP is stronger than the usual axiom of regularity which amounts to applying induction to the complement of a set the class of all sets not in the given set. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proof that Cartesian products exist. Theorem if A and B are sets, then there is a set A times B which consists of all ordered pairs a, B of elements of A and B of B. Proof The set a which is the same as a, a by the axiom of extensionality and the set a, B both exist by the axiom of pairing. Thus A B equals A A B Display style a b equals a a b exists by the axiom of pairing as well. A possible delta zero formula expressing that p stands for a b is r element of p a element of r x element of r x equals S element of P A element of S B 
element of s x element of s x equals a x equals b display style exists r in p a in r land for all x in r x equals a land exists s in p a in s land b in s land for all x in s x equals a lor x equals b land t element of p a element of t x element of t x equals a a element of t b element of t x element of t x equals a x equals b Display style for all t in p a in t land for all x in t x equals a lor a in t land b in t land for all x in t x equals a lor x equals b. Thus, a superset of a times b equals a b a in a exists by the axiom of collection. Denote the formula for p above by psi a b p. Display style psi a b p. Then the following formula is also delta zero. A element of a psi a b p. Display style exists a in a psi a b p. Thus a times b itself exists by the axiom of separation. If v is intended to stand for a times b, then a delta zero formula expressing that as a element of a p element of v psi a b p p element of v a element of a psi a B P display style for all a in a exists P in V psi a B P land for all P in V exists a in a psi a B P. Thus, a superset of a times B B in B exists by the axiom of collection. Putting B element of B display style exists B in B. In front of that last formula, and we get from the axiom of separation that the set a times b b in b itself exists. Finally, a times b equals display style cup a times b b in b exists by the axiom of union. Qed topic admissible sets a set a display style a is called admissible if it is transitive and a element of display style langle a in wrangle is a model of kripke plotek set theory an ordinal number alpha is called an admissible ordinal if l alpha is an admissible set the ordinal alpha is an admissible ordinal if and only if alpha is a limit ordinal and there does not exist a gamma if L alpha is a standard model of KP set theory without the axiom of sigma zero collection, then it is said to be an amenable set. See also Constructible universe Admissible ordinal Kripke-Plotek set theory with your elements. <laughs>